Sometimes you can stand still for a minute. Virtual reality gets James Bradley out of his head. Takes me out of my apartment completely. Oh, I'm hit. And into another world. Pedal forwards and lean to steer. Instead of focusing on exercising, he's engrossed in a desert tank battle, motivating him to work out more often. When the other tanks are chasing me, of course, I'm pedaling like crazy. And I don't even think of it as pedaling. I'm just trying to get away from the other tanks. He's using Verzoom, a stationary bike sensor that works with an Oculus virtual reality headset. For 10 bucks a month, users can play games, ride a Pegasus, or even race in the Tour de France. As long as you don't mind looking goofy, it's actually a pretty good workout. This is what the sensor looks like, and you can put it on any bike say one at home or in an apartment or hotel gym. The price of VR is going down and sales are on the rise. According to the market firm IDC, sales of VR headsets rose 30 percent in the first quarter over the same time last year. It's much more accessible than it used to be. And fitness applications are getting more popular. Box VR lets you punch away calories. And fans of the VR dance game Beat Saber are sharing weight loss wins online with the hashtag Fit Saber. Bradley sees virtual reality as the future of fitness, and after using Verzoom, decided to invest. I think it's a really positive addition to my life, and it's fun. A high-tech way to lessen the pain of working out. Liz McLaughlin, NBC News.